Okay, we're going to have to put one of these in because obviously if the train stops there too long, it's going to absolutely like gas everyone. Oh my god, not again. Okay, interesting. Hello, Woody. My name's Sushi, and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. You join me outside the Hushable Hospital um, in episode number 16. And we're today going to be looking, I think, at road networks, jumping straight in there. Uh, so before we get ahead with that, I just want to show you a couple of changes I made off camera. Very subtle ones. So uh, the AI, right, they, they wasn't liking this little park. They kept building houses. So what I've done is the fences that I put down didn't have collisions, but these ones do. So I've d I've gone along here and I've put all these fences down so the AI won't build on this like lot here so we can keep our park looking nice. And the same goes for all the way around. I did the similar sort of thing. So that's good. Uh, same thing over here at the train station. Uh, it was built. They were building here, so I didn't like it. Put some fences down. It doesn't look the best. There's a couple of like higher bits than the others, but you know what? It works. And then same here, of course. And then over at uh, where are we here? Over at Crosset, similar situation. A couple of things like that, but uh, not really going to affect the gameplay too much. The, the the bus stop here. I got really annoyed about this. I managed to fix it off camera. What I did to do this is I made three separate pieces of road. Whereas before it was all one, and this works, so that's good. Um, but yeah, back to the video. So today, I think what we're going to do is we're going to improve transport networks because they are all right, but they're a bit, yeah, you know what I mean? Like they're they're a bit curvy. You can see here that this one goes uphill and then turns, which is definitely not good for the trains. And all I can do here, it's not going to cost too much to just build a bridge across here, for example, and then straighten the road out. That's definitely going to not cost a lot. But these buildings, you can see they are building further and further up here. So the quicker I get this done, the, the cheaper it's going to be, really. So I think we should get ahead with that. I did save a bit of money off camera, so we've got six million here. And I think we should just go ahead and start just making things better. So I think right off the bat, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start and make some main roads because... A lot of these uh, these roads, they hook up, but they're really small. And I'm just thinking about the future. There's going to be a lot of traffic problems. So I'm going to push these roads back a bit. It's going to cost me quite a bit of money, but that's why we've got uh, 6 million. And I'm just going to make it so these roads have uh, an extra lane. And this is... Oh, hello. Why is that? Okay. Well, I guess we can't do that one then. But uh, that's interesting. Why is it saying that? Let me check. So can I do it now? Oh, that is so strange. Okay, well, I'll probably fix that later on. Uh, but, yeah, basically having an extra lane just means that's lucky. Uh, that we can run our... Uh, oh, here we go. So there's a little corner here. Let me just fix this up. So basically having an extra lane means that the traffic should, at least, be uh, not quite as bad. Uh, because there is going to be more space available. That's not nice. Uh, how do we do this? Let's see... Is that? Yeah, that, that works. Do that. Uh, now, this might be a problem. Yes, it is. So, let's just destroy this for a second. Might as well do all of this because we need to do a lot here. So, let's rip this road up. And then, let's build from here. And we'll go, like, there to there. No, there to about there, let's say. And then, bring this down to, let's say, there. And then, this to there. There we go. And then, that should... It's, mm, it's better, but it's not ideal, and I really can't afford to be doing this bit just yet. So, that's alright. I think we should just have enough to do a train, though. So, if we get 50, and then we will get rid of this track here. And then we pull this track back over here. Like, I'm not a big fan of that. Let's just see if we can do that a different way. So, bring this track over there, like that, and then make that wooden, because it's cheap. Actually, what's the top speed of wood? Is it 50? 90. Okay. Um, yeah, I think we'll go with wood then. Uh, we don't, we don't actually have got any trains that go faster than 90, and I don't think they're going to be going over this bridge particularly fast, considering there's a hill on both sides, so that works. Yeah, I think we'll go with that. So we'll get a wooden bridge, and we'll plop it down just like, uh, like that, parallel with the road. Awesome. 200k left over. Let's bring this track down here. I'm going to just back this up a little bit further, because we can actually make it a bit more, uh, a bit, we can make the track a bit shorter, I think, because there's less curving going on if I just make it a nice straight line. But there we go. That's pretty good. This will cost me a bit more money in terms of maintenance. It will cost me a fair amount more because it's a bridge, not just standard track. However, 
I think in the long run this is going to be better because it makes our trains a lot faster and it gives us more space to work with right here and I'm definitely going to put something right here because it's such a nice spot. I mean look at it. It's looking over the city, it's looking over the lake. Can't go wrong can you? So yeah, something going to go there eventually. We've got 86k left over. Let's just let the game play out because we have all, we have got all, because we have got all our links back up and you can see here, look at this, so they're actually using the correct lanes now, that's awesome. So the people who are going to turn left I believe are in the middle lane, let's see. So yeah, you're in the middle lane and you're going to turn left. Let's just double check that. So, going to go down here. Yes, you are. Awesome. And let's just find a passenger car and this is on the right because it's going to go straight ahead. Is this going to work? Hopefully it will. Let's find out. Straight ahead. There we go. Yeah, and that's going to basically free a lot of uh, a lot of traffic up. It will be full of traffic, this road. I can guarantee it because this is a central route. This goes to our kind of our current powerhouse for for money really because all our money is is tools like our big money is in tools um and this is kind of the main powerhouse because this is where our tool factory is of course and our dock and it's also where cross it is and the main road goes all the way up here to another one of our major cities i believe this is a second let's just check i'm pretty sure this is the second biggest city so no, it's the biggest city, interestingly. How is Lumpkin? That doesn't make sense. Lumpkin is bigger than our capital city. Who would have thought? But yeah, fancy gap. And then this road goes all the way up here to West Hampton, of course, which is the end of where the road is going to be. Here. Because the issue I'm having is, where do I go with this road? I was thinking, I had a little think before the video. I could, supposedly, bring it through here. I was, I was thinking, why don't we go up here? But then there's kind of a sharp turn, which I don't like doing on these main roads. So what if we brought the road up here? through this main centre of the city and we could put some bus stops down and then we could maybe have some sort of road that goes like if I just go there uh, something like that that comes around because then that gives us a lot more space to work with as well so something like that maybe but for now I think what we'll do is we'll just upgrade the main links because as you can see here we've just got country roads which aren't ideal really uh, and we could use a large country road which goes 80 but I kind of like the, the large street it looks a lot nicer uh, and it kind of has that sort of ambiance to it so, and I don't think anything's going to be going faster than 60 anyway, let's face it. So, if we just go here and then just upgrade, let's see how much it's going to cost. 800k, and there's fences in the way. Hmm, I, I mean, we can do it. Let's just see. Um, so, let's just get rid of these fences. I didn't really want to do this because I spent a lot of time on these fences, but we can always put them back, I suppose. So, let's give it a try. So, 800k, I don't have right now. Uh, let's just take out a little bit of a loan then, not too much. And we'll try now. So there we go. Just move the buildings back a little bit. And that's going to help us out quite a lot because and what's going to happen now is we, because we have this bigger road, they are still going to build here, but there's a lot more space to work with. Um, so let's go ahead now. We need 300k for the next one. So tell you what then, I'm going to go ahead and let uh, the game play out until I get a little bit more money to work with. And then I shall be back. Okay, and here we have the train going over the first uh, first journey over the bridge. The class T, looking mighty fine. But yeah, I think it's a definite improvement doing this. It's not losing as much speed as it was, definitely. So, because it was going down to 12 kilometers an hour, and now it's 33. So, big time improvement there. I said I was going to do uh, this road and upgrade it all, but that's going to just take too long to get that much money. So what I'll do is I'll do that off camera, because uh, that is kind of just tedious stuff you don't need to see. Uh, that's uh, look at this. This is interesting. 200 people in the station right now that is hella busy wow okay um i wonder i wonder why that is that's really interesting i've never seen that many in here before but one thing's for sure the platform's not long enough for it so we're gonna have to do something about that i think maybe that could be just open this platform up but that requires another i don't know we'll figure it out i'm sure but yeah i'm gonna definitely make this road nice and thick and I'm going to bring the road around here just so we have a lot more space to work with. Because the AI does build its own roads, but it's kind of slow. So I think if we build it for them, one, we can make it look nice. And two, they will build maybe a little bit quicker. And we need to do that because West Hampton's on the small side. But uh, yeah, this road as well, I'm going to leave just for now because it's uh, it's kind of connected to this bit of the road where my, uh, my depot is. We don't really need to touch that for now, um, but we will use it eventually. We will extend along to Summerland, or we might even build a new road. Who knows? But uh, I'll give it for now, even so. No. So for those of you who are new to the series, when this guy comes, basically there's trouble. This is my team. They go and if there's any problems, they go. They basically check up on all my 
all my stock, make sure everything's working properly. And if they come to my headquarters, there's problems. So let's see what they got to say. <sighs> right, let's do it. Let's do it. Where's the Borsig? Let's find out. Borsig, I know the Borsig is on my... Ah, ah, ha, ha, ha. the Borsig is stuck in a tunnel. Ah, okay, right. So this... Yikes. Okay, we're going to have to put one of these in because obviously if the train stops there too long, it's going to absolutely like gas everyone. So we need to find a place for this. And also we can change the colour. Very nice. Probably not the best time to be doing this. But I think I'm going to go either brick mixed or stone brown. Oh, stone brown, I think. And let's make it a little bit smaller. Ah, well, that's a bit annoying, isn't it? Okay, let's do it. So we need a outlet. Seeing as though the station's right below the road, this is a bit of an issue. Okay, we'll put it here. So if we get rid of that and that, and then pause the game. And then we'll put an air shaft right about there. And then now we need a fence. And we'll put fencing around it. So let me do that. Okay, that's great. I've put fencing around it. I've sent some men down there. And now, if we press play, we should get the Borsig being able to be manned by our new crew that aren't incapacitated. And that should be leaving the tunnel very shortly. Let's just go wait over here. So the Borsig should be coming out of the tunnel any time now. There it is. There's the Borsig with the new crew on board. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. Yeah, it was literally a case of me not putting an outlet. So all the steam was getting trapped inside the subway station and it gassed everyone. Wow. Okay. Yeah, didn't, I didn't really uh, expect a delay on that train, but uh, even so, even if there's not a delay, it's kind of nice to have ventilation, don't you think? So yeah, kind of kind of good thing I've put that one in. But anyway, problem solved. But, seeing as though we are in episode 16, let's go ahead and set the time to go forward so we can get to 1866, where, hopefully, we can get some new vehicles. And definitely, I'm hoping for a new boat, although I really, really doubt I'm going to get one. Because, <laughs> let's face it, every time I've said I want a new boat, we haven't got one so far. So, uh, but let's not be pessimistic. Hopefully, we get a, we, we get a boat. It's uh, probably not going to happen, though, let's be honest. <laughs> Here we go, some of the 31st, and New Year. All right, what do we get? Ah, we only got different iterations of the train. Damn it, that's annoying. Um, oh well, I mean, maybe you can do something. I mean, we might as well check it out. Let's see. Let's see our new variations. We've got Operated and Perseverant. Let's see, can we tune our train to be any better? We're using the Stealthy train. So 27, 28, it's slightly better. Very slightly better. It's actually a bit cheaper, so I'm going to go with that one, actually. So I'm going to bring the new train back here in a second, and we're going to replace that train. And let's see our other one. So we've got Operated. We're currently using Glorious, I think. So let's see Operated. Uh, it's... Oh, it's quite... Oh, yeah. We, oh, that's some good changes, actually. Was not expecting that. I'm going to make those changes. They are good changes. The, both trains have more power and are slightly cheaper. So that's a really good call. Awesome. That was kind of good, actually. Do you know what, actually? I might try this. We actually have a bit of a tool shortage, but what I can do is if I invest into tools here, I can pledge an investment and these guys are going to build some more because of the more money they've got. And that means they're going to be producing more. I'm not quite sure about this stuff here because we aren't shipping that much and we don't have any more ships. So I'm going to just try, let's say with one, I'm going to try with one of these horse and carts and what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way up here to... Summerland, and we're gonna because we do have a road connection. Don't don't uh, don't forget. So let's get a truck stop. Uh, so buildings and truck stop, and you're gonna come into the town this way, and then go around the block, and then back out of the town. So if we put one down, like let's say there. Oh, actually no, it's got to cover the. Sorry, silly me. It's got to cover the right area of the town. So where are we here? Tools is this end of the town. That's fine. So we'll just put one down. Let's say there. And then now if we go new line from over here in Crosset to from there to all the way over here in Summerland. And then let's put this on, uh, what colour is it? It's brown, is it? I think it's that one. Let me just compare. Yeah, it's that one. And then we'll call this one, um, what would it be? It would be, was it, is it like to saw? No, it's tool drop. Tool drop three. Okay, tool drop three, and then we're going to fill these 
pull them up and we're going to go from here oh, you know what? it's probably going to go from here isn't it so we'll get one of these and we'll get let's say which ones do we use we use cargo asian horse drawn carriage one of those and slap that onto tool drop number three and um, we'll see how that goes up or down in terms of uh like production i think it will go up very slightly it just completely depends on if our production line can hold out because if it can't hold out there's no hope really we, we are like i say i keep mentioning we seriously need ships you probably do maybe you'll i don't know maybe you'll understand but the importance of ships is so crucial especially on this map because if you haven't noticed yeah <laughs> there's a lot of water so it's a bit of a problem it really is a bit of a problem but 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 we are seeing a lot of tools coming on here now which is interesting it is surely surely interesting although not many on tool drop three so i wonder why Maybe the maybe I think actually maybe the the truck has to go the whole journey once before it recognizes there's a journey. I'm not quite sure how it works, but I'm guessing that's how it works because I'm not seeing any demand. Like, I, well, I am seeing demand, but there's no supply. There's demand for it in in Somerville, not Somerville, Summerland. Uh, but there's no there's no supply. I don't know. I'll figure that one out uh, at some point. I'm sure. I'm not sure. Anyway, <laughs> I'll figure it out soon. Alright, so off camera, I've upgraded these roads here in West Hampton, and I think now what we're going to do is we are going to do some building of more roads, because up here, I would kind of like this road here to be connected over this end, instead of going through over here, because that means our, because there's not much traffic at the minute, but there is a little bit, as you can see, and you might also notice that these vehicles go like 18, 17 sort of kilometers an hour where these guys they tend to go a little bit faster these these vehicles here so we got 20 kilometers an hour for the civilian vehicles but only about what's this like 18 you see on our uh, our vehicles and that's because of weight we have passengers of course so what's happening is we're getting like a mini traffic jam because our uh, civilian vehicles are catching up to our vehicles so what i want to do i want to increase the lane size so we have a slip lane for the buses that makes a lot of sense doesn't it um, now, also, one, before we get into this, one quick thing that I want to do is I want to move this bus stop because I've been having a look and if you go to emissions here, you can see there's a lot of these residential houses with a lot of emissions and they're not liking it. So, my idea, if we just pause the game here, we're going to move this bus stop, so just get rid of that for now, we're going to put the bus stop over about here-ish, and doing that, let's just see, has it picked it up? It should have picked it up, if I go to routes um it has there you go so yeah basically having it like this i believe the buses instead of going down here and then around here and then all the way back this way i think what they're going to do now is going to go through here and just do a big loop let me just check on that one i think that should be the case um it is right cool so if i just press play now you can see what's happening all these passengers are going to run over to the bus stop but uh, i think they should increase the emissions over in the industrial area which is a good thing which is Hang on, these are, these are residentials. This this shouldn't be happening. All right, well, it looks like the game has done some strange things and put residentials in my current industrial area, which is okay because uh, eventually, it's kind of useful actually, because at some point I want to make this area residential anyway. I just don't have the money to do that. But it's a bit interesting how they've done that. But majority of residential areas now are going to be uh, a bit more emission free and it should start going down in a couple of minutes, which is good. But uh, yeah, that should work pretty well. I think, what are, the, what are you doing? Let me just check this guy's going the right way. So yeah, because I, I saw a couple of them turning around in the street, which I never, ever like to see. So yeah, you can see here, there's one route that's doing that. I need to check what that one is. Um, is it this one? It is this one. Right, let me find West Shuttle. So where are you going, West Shuttle? Oh, you're literally going there? That's like the shortest walk ever. Maybe there's not even a need for that line. Let me, or you know what, actually? Let's make another bus stop, I think. Uh, let's put another bus stop like so hang on first of all what's running on this branch so terminals west shuttle one is that the same one i wonder let's just check west shuttle it's west shuttle two that's the good one so west shuttle one let's see here west shuttle one don't think we need i don't think we have a need for that to be honest with you because i think west shuttle two which is let's see this one here is west shuttle no west shuttle two please there we are i think west shuttle two that's doing all the same, exact same stops really, isn't it? It's, it's just missing this one out. So, maybe we could, let's see, can we put a bus stop on here somewhere? 
I suppose we could put one here, couldn't we? But that defeats the purpose of having this. Okay, uh, what about if we modify this? So can we put a bus stop? It's in German. Yikes, thanks mod creator. Uh, if we put one like here... Hey, there we go. So we can put a bus stop like here and then just have it come out, right? So let's just give that one a try. So if we get rid of that, so we go to West Shuttle 1, and manage vehicles and then sell all these guys, all right? And then West Shuttle 2. Hang on, West Shuttle 2, where are we? West Shuttle... Hang on, Shuttle... Oh, I've put a T on the end of it. That's what was happening. So West Shuttle 2 is the one we need. So I just make that one West Shuttle 1. And then West Shuttle 1, we could just delete. And then now, get rid of that as well for the future. It might be handy. So now if I go to here, so it should just be this one route. That's right. Okay, good. So manage line. And then after the second one, we're going to go to right there. And then that should drop it off there. Cool stuff. All right, there we go. Simple as that. That solves a lot of problems, doesn't it? Awesome, awesome stuff. You know, I might also put one here as well. Another bus stop, like, around here. It might come in handy. Um, oh, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pause the game, and I'm going to put a bus stop instead to go there. Uh, oh, let's, first of all, let's bin that, and then we'll put one there. Um, now, that's not going to work, is it? So if I go back to here, so what's 9th Street? That one's not working, so if I get rid of that and then put that one there. There we go, that fixes it. And then press play, and then that covers, I believe, most of the city now. There we go, that's much better. That's very convenient for the passengers, isn't it? Look at that, good stuff, good stuff. The only thing we're missing is uh, this sort of area down here, but these guys, I don't really know. I, I, how would I how would I cover this area with buses? I'm not quite sure. I don't think the city's at that stage to be big enough to be able to do that just yet, but um, I'm sure we can figure that one out. Uh, anyway, on to building roads. So... Roads, roads, roads. Actually, let's just have a quick check at these tram stops because we do have trams unlocked. And I would like to have a quick check of these. So basically, we can just modify these and make platforms and stuff. That's cool. Yeah, we might use some of these in the future. These are quite nice. Yeah, I like these. Good stuff. Good stuff indeed. Okay, right. Well, we're not doing that just yet. So go back to streets and then here we go. So this is what we need to do. We're going to go to corners. And the first thing I'm going to put in is flat version of of a little corner here and the reason I'm going to do this is that I want to and I'm going to have to pause the game as well for this I want to go ahead and connect these roads now I actually had a look I could build a road through here but that's going to be a tunnel and that's expensive um, I already at one point made like a little ditch where the road is currently so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just hook up straight back to that road there and I think that that should save us quite a bit of money I'm going to try and make it straight first of all so let's just get, um, I hate how you have to do this. Let's just do cheapest road. And then let's go from like, oh bloody hell, I didn't do flat, hang on. It's always a pain with this game, isn't it? So make it flat, make it nice and straight, parallel to the road. Okay, and then now if I go like that and then try and snap it, it's kind of hard. And then do that, there we go, and then we can bin that, there we go. And then now what we can do is we can, is that going to fit? I wonder, let's check. It's kind of going to fit, kind of, sort of. Uh, you know, let's go for it. Let's go for it. And then we're going to just back this up a little bit, I think. Now, is this going to be a problem for us, I wonder? Let's check. So if I want to go to like, hmm, it's not very nice, that corner. I don't like it. So let's make this a bit straighter. Let's bring this forward a bit. So, oh, why are you doing that? No, nice and flat, please. Bring that to about there, and then bring this guy down to about there. So we're probably about equal distances away, and then snap those two together. And I'll take that, yeah. I'm happy with that. And then now, we just simply bring this guy over here, keeping it flat. Elbow, make it nice and straight. And then bring this guy into... There we go. And then now, we just got to upgrade this bit of road, which I'll do later on, because I don't actually need to do that right away. But yeah, I think that's pretty good for the time being. And uh, we can hook this road, make it a small one, please. If we bring this road, we can bring that one onto... Now, that's doing weird corner things, isn't it? That's interesting. All right, well, I guess we're going to do it like that. I, I don't know why it's doing that sort of weird shape here. Like, it's kind of going a bit curvy. But anyway, it doesn't matter. So there we go. Nice and sorted. And that gives us quite a bit of space, quite a bit more space to work with, actually. So what we can probably do... Because how big's a house? It's like... Okay, it's probably about that big, so if I go like that, um, that might actually work, you know. Okay, so I've been playing around, and I think the best place to go from is this tree, 
If I just go from here and then bring this out and make that nice and straight, I think that that would bring like sort of the best estate um, space-wise and get as many houses in here as possible. Um, so we just plug this in to snap. There we go, to there. Oh, come on, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> so we'll go from there again and then we'll snap it. That was quicker than last time, there we go. So that gives us a bit more space to work with housing-wise and that's pretty good stuff. And our main road, you can see, is getting a lot better now. We haven't got this sorted out yet because I think actually from about this point I'm going to bring it over this direction instead because I'm not a big fan of it coming like straight down here into the train station because there's going to be a lot of traffic down here. Uh, a lot of traffic. So probably not going to do that. I don't know. I'll think about it between episodes. But so I'm going to leave that one for now. But if we go from about where I'm going to do it from, so like here, uh, it's, it's kind of dirt until you get to here and then it's nice and paved all the way through West Hampton. Lovely looking road. And then again here, same situation. Really don't have the money to do this at the minute, but that's fine. And then when we get to here, I'm going to have to redo this junction. But aside from that, we're going into here. And then when you get to here, it's a nice big road again, all the way down, all the way down to over here in cross it. And then the road stops here. So we've definitely opened a lot more opportunity for vehicles. And also, let's give it a little check of our tools. Because earlier in the episode, we set up a tool branch, uh, like a little a delivery over to Summerland for wooden tools so let's see if there's any like problems with this i doubt there is but there seems to be a lot of tools on here so okay so we got 60 tools that's strange all right so i'll tell you what we'll do then seeing as though there's kind of a bit of a, a problem at the minute with this let's make another platform there like that and then what we can do now if we go to these and then configure is it which one is it is it tool drop th i think actually you got to click on the line haven't you so if we go to tool drop three which is the uh, the one with less vehicles. And we're going to change this one to platform two. There we go. And then now they won't like, uh, you know how it gets too many and they fall off the platform. It was doing that for the other one, which is why there was no, uh, no supply. So now we have two platforms. It should do a lot better. And if we change this one to, where are we here? Tool drop two, we make this one full. All right. And then tool drop three, if we, I think we need some more vehicles, aren't we? So let's find tool drop three on here. We'll drop three and then we're just gonna let's get say let's get ten all right ten of these oh that's eleven oh let's sell it that was a mistake oh well uh so yeah now we should we have quite a few more that should uh that should kind of ease the ease the problem over here this road i've also fixed because it was doing some weird collision stuff and i've also rebuilt this little uh little crossing thing let me know what you think guys i think it looks pretty cool um but it's a, it's a bit of a different design from the last one so let me know what you think in the comments to that one but I think that's all in all a pretty good job, don't you? So if we go on here, I'm just going to go ahead and make like a little bit more roads. So if I go to, is it the big one or the small one? I think it's a small one. It is the small one. Okay, so if I make this like as straight as I possibly can. Like that. And there we go. And then, you know, we'll go from over here. That's probably easier. And bring this all the way out to the end. Now, we're going to have to do some interesting stuff because it's a beach. This property over here is going to be more high value. So I'm not going to go too far with this one. I'm just going to bring it to about there. And then I'm going to make a flat line if I can. That's not going to interfere with terrain too much, hopefully. Uh, we'll go to like, to like there, sure. And then we'll bring this one out to there. And then this one out to, to there. There we go. And then now that's one more housing. And just enough off the end here. One more housing and two. Uh, oh, that's interesting. So the road's not straight there. Let me just quickly fix that. So if I just go like, uh, oh, it's tricky. It is tricky with the camera. So if we go like a little bit bigger than that, I think. So like that and because no, that won't be straight though, will it? So if we just, mm, ah, this is tricky. Go from there. Oh, we don't have any money anymore. Okay, let's get a quick loan. And then we'll go from there. Just bring that out nice and straight if we can. It's a bit tricky. That's the problem. It's really tricky to get things straight in this game because there's no like, there's no snapping when you're building a new thing. It's kind of just got to wing it. But uh, I, won't, I won't go per for perfection. We can always do that later. It's still not straight, but we're going to have to just go with it. I don't know why it does that, though. That's so annoying. It, like, it's not straight. Not straight at all, that, is it? But oh, well. Oh, well, oh, well, oh, well. We can always come back to it in a bit. But uh, yeah, all in all, pretty good stuff. We've made some more land. And I'm actually... Let's just cut down the trees here. So go to paint tools... And then we'll just make this a bit smaller. 
Let's just cut all these trees. Oh, it's the wrong one, isn't it? <laughs> Let's just go back on here then, and then we'll go over to brush size, a little bit bigger. Make get rid of all these trees. So I'm only doing this just because it, it one it looks better, uh, and, it, and two it's more visually representing of how much land we've got. Because trees are good and all, but when you want to have a see how much land you've got, it's not very good because it kind of blocks your view. So I'm just going to rub all this out, and uh, and then we'll we'll see what what's next. Lovely, that's looking much, much better. So yeah, I think I'm definitely gonna do that if I if I do some more like land uh, clearing for new houses. But I don't think I'll be doing that for quite a while because we have quite a lot of uh, available space here. All right, and one thing I also wanna fix, the train, as you can see, has just left West Hampton and we still have all these people waiting, like a lot of people basically. So I wanna do one quick thing, which is I wanna go to configure on here. And I'm going to just pause the game and what we're going to do is we're going to change out that and that we're going to change for one of these. Alright, we're going to plop them in and then now they can swap platforms, right? Which is good stuff. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to go on here, we're going to have to rip this up unfortunately. Uh, we're not using it so it doesn't really matter but we'll just rip that up and we're going to go to 50 which is the one we use. We're gonna... Okay, water towers are gonna be a bit of a problem, aren't they? I forgot about this. Okay, well, we're gonna have to edit this. So, go back to configure. We are in pause. So it doesn't matter if we don't have one for the time being. So, we'll get rid of those. And then now, we'll go to tracks. And then 50. Put that down. And then this track here, we'll go back to 50. And then we're gonna grab this track. And we're gonna bring this to about... Where can we put it? We're we'll, we'll gonna like here. And then, in fact, we have one further on, don't we? Yeah, we do. So we can just plug it in there. Awesome. Plug it straight in there. Little loose end. Awesome stuff. And then now, this track can go over here. Because we are going to use this eventually anyway. So there's not a lot of point just, like, not doing it. We might as well do it now while we can. And then we'll bring this one into here on the curve. There we go. And then now, um, it doesn't look... It won't serve too much of a purpose at the minute. Because it is brand new, of course. But... Eventually, that's going to be very useful because when we, there will be multiple trains on this track at some point. And for now, its, it's only purpose is to just make sure that there's not too many passengers on one platform. But eventually, this will be very, very good because it will mean that uh, we can have multiple plane, trains running at the same time, which is very good stuff. Uh, but we need another platform, so we'll go platform right about there. And we'll put a roof on, so misc, and then where are we here? Roof, roof, roof. What's this roof? Well, that's an interesting roof. I don't really want to use it though because it looks expensive. So just a standard roof will do. And then now we'll go to West Bay Railway, manage line, and then so we're gonna go Summerland, and then Summerland Waypoint, and then West Hampton. So we're driving on the right side. So this West Hampton needs to be on platform two. Or does it? Now what's happening here? What is happening here? All right, let's just revert that. I don't know what I did. So fancy gap is next. So yeah, I mean, we should be, we should be, on, that should be, I don't know why that's not, ah, I know, I know, I know, I know. So change that back to platform two, and then now, I forgot to do this, didn't I? There's somewhere here, here it is, and then 50, and then just plug that in there. There we go, that fixes it. Cool, and then now, if we go back to the station and press play, we should get passengers crossing the track. There we go, there are all passengers who want to go to the other place. That is incredibly useful, but we don't have any water, so we need to put that on first. So, uh, go back over here, and where can we put water? Platforms, can't fit one there, can't fit one there. Right, great, that's a good start, isn't it? So, water, can I put it on the platform? Let's find out. Can I go delete these? Can we put water on, on here? We can. Awesome. Um, in that case, so the train's going to be on... So it's pulling in on the right side, so the one goes there. Cool. And then this one can stay, can't it? So we just put one of these back on. Forgot about that. The train's pulling in the other side. So it goes on this side. We need on... There we go. And we need one of these guys to go down there. There we go. That's good. And then now if you press play, the train has enough water. People are on the right platform. It's a bit ugly, but I think that's a big improvement. Good stuff. All right, here we go. Trains pulling in the first time on the new bit of track. Very, very nice stuff. Here it comes into the station. Look at that. Look at that. Lovely stuff. Lovely, lovely stuff. My only concern is when we get more trains, people might get run over. 
Unfortunately, I've spotted these guys who have come to say something, so it's never good with these guys. Let's see what they got to say. <sighs> Alright then, let's sort it. <laughs> oh my god, not again. Oh, and on the main line. Wow, okay. So, I've got to get faster at my response time because my trains are good. Yeah, they're stuck. Bloody hell, okay. Ah, so, okay, they, I'm going to get sued again. Yikes, going to lose all my money. This is annoying. It's these bloody bandits again. Oh my god. Oh, ah. Look at that, they're holding the guy up as well. This this was not done by amateurs, I tell you. These are professionals. Alright, well, the train's off again. They moved the horse and cart. And, uh, it's setting off. But, we got to do something about these guys. They keep robbing us, and this time they really took the biscuit by robbing us in like... I mean, to be fair, that was it was well planned. Like, they robbed us in a place where we can't really go anywhere because there's hills on either side. But on the bloody main line, they just stopped so many good services. Like, so many. It's so annoying. But I'll tell you what, let's question the driver at the next station. Let's see what the driver says. Because maybe they said something to the driver. In fact, I'm going to find out what they said to the driver because they will have said something because they stopped the train. Um, but, um... Oh, I'm an idiot! I didn't add a security car. Ah, right. We gotta put security. Ca we gotta do that. That was me. Sorry. My apologies, uh, people on that train. That was kind of all of my fault. Kind of, sort of. Even though they robbed it, I didn't put a security guard on it. So, yeah, we gotta do that as soon as it gets to the station. But we also gotta find out some more information about these guys. They keep bloody robbing us. So, we really gotta find out some stuff about these guys and put try and put a stop to it. But at least my traffic's moving again. This guy's just about to set off. But that, yeah, that's super annoying that. We, we definitely got to find some more information. And you know what I'm also going to do? I'm going to hire some, uh, I'm going to hire a secretary. I'm going to hire someone who comes and tells me, who finds the information from my team and comes and tells me exactly what's happening. And that should save us some time because I reckon that train has been sat on that track quite a long time. Because my team must have got here, found out, like they must have got to a station, found out there was no train, come here, found out that there was uh, a problem gone back to the base and then I would ha like have to go find them it's kind of a bit of a problem so I'm gonna actually get someone to just do the job of finding me because then that means that I uh, I don't have to worry too much about being too late because that was really annoying how it just stopped and blocked all the traffic but anyway the train just pulled into the station so let's question the driver and see what he has to say ah okay well at least we have a name it's not a lot to go on. It's not a lot to go on. Right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to kick everyone off. I'm going to get a security card on this train. Right now, let's do it. Okay, we've got a security card. This is going to help us. This train shouldn't get robbed anymore because we have armed guards. Um, but let's hope not, anyway. Let's hope not. Alright, let's, uh, let's tell our guys here. Let's post an ad. We're looking for a secretary. Um, and, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to start. The team can do it. It's their job. I'm going to just say, you guys go find a secretary. Uh, you know what to look for. I just need a secretary. Let's send them off and let's hopefully get one. Alright, we'll come back to that later in the episode. Let's check up on Browns Valley, actually. I don't think these guys will be making too much money, but... Yeah, they're about break-even, so... Three point... Yeah, a little bit a little bit of profit on these guys. Pretty good stuff, really. Yep, I'm happy with that. Awesome. And how's about Spring Hill over here? Let's see what these guys are up to. Four out of four, are we making any money? We are making money. Good. Um, yeah, I think we are at least. That's good. All right. So both our bus routes from the previous episode, you link in the top right corner if you want to go watch that, um, are making good money for us. That is great. So you know what I'm going to do then? Just before we end the video, let's have a look and see if we have any applications for our secretary. Let's go find out right now. Okay, team. What have we got? Okay, interesting. Well, you know what? I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Yeah, you guys in the comments. I am going to put these three people down below and the person with the most likes uh, by the time the next video is out gets to be my secretary. There you go, guys. Have your say. But anyway, I'm going to end the video here. Thanks for watching, guys. It's been great having you. If you want to go support me, you can go check out my Patreon or you can press the subscribe button, which are all down below the video. And I'll see you in the next video where we get our cool new secretary. Goodbye guys.